I'm gone one week and everything falls behind. Do you have any idea how many emails I got this week? Our inventory doesn't move itself. Right, of course not, sir. Hear you loud and clear. I've been very chill with you guys. I let you go to that funeral. Appreciate that. I even let you go to the bathroom once in a while. I appreciate that. I need the client report from you too. And I need it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yesterday. We'll figure something out. Good, go, bye. Yeah. Okay, did you get that summary paragraph I just sent? Yep, copying it now. Okay. Print that out, and then we'll get the whole thing to him by the end of the day. No, what? He said he needed it yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, right, so better hustle. Jack, we have to find a way to send this report back in time. Oh, um, no, no, that's not what he meant. That's just like, that's just a phrase. He didn't mean, we don't have to. Chris, that's a very common phrase. So you're saying it's possible to send a message to the past? Yes, theoretically. Go on. And again, just want to thank you for your time, Professor. I'm sure you're really busy with the students and research and things that matter. Mm -hmm. Quantum non-locality. Making a measurement on one piece affects the possibilities of measurement on the other piece. Affecting one on this timeline can affect the other on another timeline. And we could do that how? Well, could, Dude, could you take notes too? Hypothetically, uh, someone would set up a laser device that would shoot a beam into a nonlinear crystal, and if you somehow managed to get a pair of polarization entangled photons under control, then you'd set up an interferometer for each photon, which can be monitored electronically. What you change in one will change in the other. And we could use that to send a client report to the past? I guess that's possible. And then quick question for me, actually. Have you ever had like a boss who just like didn't say something perfectly literally? They just like kind of used a common turn of phrase or an idiom? I'm sorry? Don't be. You've already given us so much. Hey, we appreciate the time. What did he say? He said we appreciate the time. He's doing time travel puns. He's not, he's just saying the word time a lot. He said, what, nonlinear? Hey man, how's it going? Uh, great, dude, totally figuring it all out. Just working on some... Did you get the uh, interferometer? I did, yeah. There you go. Oh, ooh, heavier than I thought it was gonna yeah. be. I do wanna, and I don't mean to belabor the point, I feel like we both get the joke, but I, I, I do think it's like, much more likely, we agree, right? That when he said, I need it yesterday, he just meant like, I need it quickly. Pretty common turn of phrase. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's incapable of hyperbole. He said it when he hired me. I'll say what I need once, and I expect it done. Jack, I worked really hard for this job. I'm not gonna lose it just because I can't send a dumb report back in time. Okay. Do we wanna just also send it now just to make sure that he gets it? And then like that can be the insurance and then we can still totally try to uh, send it back in time. But that way there's like a double up. Uh, defeats the whole purpose. Either he gets it yesterday or not at all. That's what he asked for. Right, yesterday was three days ago now though. So like it just it gets like a little less relevant the longer we wait to send the report. Right, so why are we wasting time on this conversation? Besides, I have to find a nonlinear crystal despite distributors out of Lithuania and Taiwan giving me the cold shoulder. No, I'm not buying British. No, I get that. Yeah. Um, cool, well, keep me posted. Listen, um, take this for what it is, take it or leave it. Uh, I've been seeing a counselor in Mid-City who is great and who takes our insurance. So yeah, if, if, like, if there's anything else going on right now and you feel like you wanna talk to somebody about it, let me know, I can give you a name. Oh, damn it, this is the 2013 model. This'll take some doing. Um, just, if you could just leave the sandwich on the counter, thank you. Sure thing. Great, now I'm gonna have to learn about computers. Hey dude, so just come in today. I talked to HR, they said you can keep your job, they'll just take the days out of your vacation. What are you doing over there? You were supposed to be my lookout. Jack, this is way bigger than we ever thought. There is a shadow organization that prevents time tampering. I can't explain it, but I'm in the facility right now. I'm so close to a nonlinear crystal. Chris, I gave him the report. Okay, it was a total non-issue, man. I handed it in like two weeks late and he didn't even say anything about it. So, all good. You turned it in, but we're so close. Sorry, man, I didn't have a choice. We always have a choice. Oh no, they're here. I'm gonna finish this myself, whatever it takes. Yeah, 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 cool, real quick. Um, so I talked to my therapist and they said they have some openings coming up. They can take on new clients. So yeah, if there's anything that you feel like you need to talk to somebody about, I think this would be a great time to, you're gone. Time. Two.
We're too late. He's fled. Excuse me. Chris? Hey, bud. X squared plus or minus three E. Professor, yeah, sorry to bother you. Um, um, have you heard from Chris? What the hell are you guys up to? Did you see my slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. No, what? What's the What's the time, please? Sir, where did he? Where's Chris? story, Chris. We don't have the time. <laughs> you left your Apple ID logged in at the work computer and I used to find my iPhone. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, great, because I have to bypass their security fluctuator. We only have 30 seconds until the next Chris, test, so no need to explain. Because Just because I don't think I would follow it necessarily at all. I, I read all of this and I don't think I fully understand if what you're going for is possible, but what I do understand is why you need it to be possible. There, there is a security breach. Obviously you didn't think that Gary was being literal about when he needed the email. You're doing all of this because you want to talk to your grandma one more time. I'd let you go to that funeral. Appreciate that. I get it now. That's, uh, that's beautiful. Jack, he said he needed it yesterday. I really don't get what you're not getting here. Oh. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, me and my grandma weren't even that close. I think she preferred my brother to me, but I guess, yeah, I mean, yeah. we're gonna be able to send stuff back in time. We could shoot her a message. There wasn't anything really pressing that I needed to resolve or say to her, so. Yeah, well, no no pressure from me. Yeah, well, um, yeah, just the, it's the it's about the, because he needed it. Our boss said he needed, needed it yesterday, yesterday, so I'm gonna get it to him yesterday, yeah. Right. Cool, well. Yeah, well, well, I'm here, so whatever you, I got your back. Right, because I'm in. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, more power. Launch sequence activated. Chris, don't flip that switch. You remember what happened to Donna. Time's up, Whitaker. Think of the time ripples this will cause. 10 seconds. Jack, it's now or never. Come on. Jack, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Five, four, three, two, only one way to find out. Yellow. Yes, hi, 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 sir. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Chris and Jack. Uh, I just wanted to check in on that client report we sent you a little while ago. What? Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I saw it in my email after you left my office. It was in the mix of the ones I hadn't gotten to yet from the day before. Jack turned in a copy of it a week or so later. Very redundant. Wait, so just to be clear then, you got the report yesterday? Yes, I got it that specific yesterday. And to be clear, I meant what I told you entirely literally. So, great job, Chris. And Jack, again, so redundant, obviously you're fired. Yeah, totally understood. That's on me. I, I, I did not get what was going on here at all. All right, well, well I'll see you, see you next week. Just, you know, learn to trust your coworkers sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Time.